This is Jonathan Kersing with the Pittsburgh Technology Council and Tech Vibe Radio, bringing you the five minute Pittsburgh Tech Report right from the Huntington Bank Studios. We got some great headlines today from Visimo, Enoteskis, and Work.Software. Before we get to that, we got to talk about all things beyond big data. Yes, the event is happening the week of March the 22nd. It's almost a full week long. Every morning, there's all types of insights around all things AI, machine learning, and more. And in fact, we have the strategic futurist of Hershey stopping by to talk about how Hershey's uses AI and big data across all of its operations. Should be a lot of fun. If you're a council member, it costs absolutely nothing. If you're not a member, it's like 325 bucks. So be a member, join in, have some fun with us. It's gonna be a good time. Go to pghtech.org and look at all the great content lined up for beyond big data. Now, let's move into our headlines that I was talking about earlier. We've got some great stuff happening here, especially when it comes to Visimo. So these guys, they keep scoring new contracts. It's pretty amazing what these guys are up to these days. In fact, they just won an Air Force Phase 1 Small Business Technology Transfer Award to conduct research on the synthetic generation of landscape training data. Yeah, that's pretty heavy duty stuff. Um, the work will be conducted in partnership with Colorado State University and will play a vital role in advancing technologies that rely on vast quantities of landscape imagery. Things you don't think about, things like flight simulators, unmanned aerial vehicles, and of course, things like video games. So congratulations to Visimo. Next up is a company you've probably never heard of, Enoteskis. Haven't heard of them because they just basically spun out from Chem Image. They're actually a wholly owned subsidiary of Chem Image, and they have just launched the beta version of its image and video annotation platform. Um, Anoteskis, they streamlined computer vision and machine learning development process through seamless data handling, smart annotation tools, and intuitive collaboration features. Go to anoteskis.com and you can learn more about it over there. And last on the Pittsburgh Tech Report is our friends over at work.software. They are a software as a service company that's focused on change management. They actually kind of came out of Industry Weapon. We talked to David Wibble a few weeks ago on Tech Vibe Radio about the new company. Very excited about the trajectory of the company. And as part of the interview, he was talking about getting the whole team back together. And part of that team is one Sandy Weber as the controller. They finally have her back in their grips, which is fantastic, because as David says, she's going to be the adult at work.software, just to make sure that basically all financial reporting is happening, looking at the financial stability of the company, doing all the analysis that's necessary. She's kind of like the glue and the bedrock over at work.software. So glad they got Sandy back into the fold there, that's for sure. So hey, that's been the five minute Pittsburgh Tech Report. I think we cleared it in probably three minutes, so maybe we'll change the name in the near future. Anyhow, coming from the Huntington Bank Studios, this is Jonathan Kirsting.